So growing up as a kid in northern Nevada, um, we didn't really have any access to any sports around us that were local. I think the closest uh, thing to me growing up were uh, Utah Jazz games, which were four hours away. So I didn't really get to grow up around sports. But luckily, my entire family uh, was from Montana. And uh, during the summers, uh, we'd go up and uh, get to watch a bunch of Pioneer League baseball when I would uh, spend summers with my grandparents. So my first uh, memories of baseball were watching the Great Falls Dodgers um, or listening to them on the radio with my grandpa. So um, when I got older, I uh, moved up to Missoula to attend the University of Montana for uh, school. And uh, I fell in love with the uh, Osprey right away. Um, it was so much fun to get to uh, spend summers uh, watching them play ball and uh, see so many, uh, hopefully, uh, future players uh, who'd be playing in the MLB. And um, I, I was a fan right away. Um, <clears throat> after uh, I got done with college and I lived in Missoula for a couple of years, I uh, moved down to Reno, Nevada, where the uh, AAA team for the Diamondbacks is. So I'd see all these guys who I'd watched uh, in college coming up and play AAA ball. And it was so cool to be able to follow their career and see where they started, um, see where they were at when I got here. And then a couple of them are on uh, the Diamondbacks now, which was uh, just a really, really cool experience. Um, there's there's nothing like a uh, Pioneer, base, Pioneer League baseball game. Uh, the park that in Missoula um, is just beautiful. Um, the Paddleheads are such a unique name and uh, I'm excited to uh, continue to watch them and continue to follow the careers of these guys who are playing short season A all the way up to the majors.